Hey guys, hope you're all good today. Previously, we've seen a few of the session properties that we set before running a workflow. For example, fail parent if task fails, setting the number of session logs that we want to save, and the backward compatibility session log files. Today, we'll be discussing another uh, session property, which are the pre and post SQL. These options can be found in the session property, in the mapping properties of the session log. So using these, you can run some independent SQL queries before and after a session. For example, we want a speedy load process for the target table, so we should be using the bulk load type, but the target table has a few indexes defined on it. The bulk load does not support tables with indexes defined on them, so this is where we'll use the pre and post SQLs. In the pre SQL, we'll drop the index on the target table and in the post sql we'll recreate this index this way the bulk load type will be used now let's experiment with this and see how it works out go to the workflow manager connect to the repository oracle password open the training folder this mapping right here is used for transferring data from the hr database to the target database for the employee table. The employee table has an index created upon it for the employee ID. So the bulk load shouldn't work for it. Let's go to the mapping the target and here let's set it to bulk load and see and let's run it and then see what happens. Okay, we need to save it first. Okay, now let's run it. Oops. Yeah, start workflow. This will take you to the workflow monitor. It's running. Okay, it failed. Now let's see the reason why it failed. Let's, so let's go to the session logs. If you scroll down a bit, we can see that the bulk mode was turned on for this session. And the error over here was that the database error occurred. The target table employees has indexes defined upon it, which means that bulk load does not support indexes on the target table. So how do we work around this? This is where the pre and the post SQLs come in. Let's go back to the workflow manager, session properties, mapping, employee. Let's keep it to bulk. Okay, scroll down a bit so that we have the pre and post SQL in view. Okay, right here. Now, what we'll do in the pre SQL is that we'll pre drop the indexes first. So, drop index. Okay, let's copy this from here so that we don't make any mistakes. Okay drop index click ok this will drop the index before starting the load once the load is complete the post sql will execute so let's recreate the index over here and copy this command from here to session property ok click ok click apply ok save your work first and now let's execute the workflow. Okay, it's running. Okay, perfect. The session has succeeded and so has the workflow. This means that we've worked around it. Now let's take a look at the session log and see how this worked out. Get session log. Scroll down. Okay. Yeah. Here you can see that we're starting the pre SQL for target. The pre SQL session is being executed and the pre for the target is being executed. The bulk mode was turned on. The target employees was insert data was inserted in it. <laughs> We were starting the load session. Uh, 
Okay, the load was done. One zero seven was ended. Okay, run for target. Yeah, the post SQL is being executed here now, which is we're creating the index back on the employee table. So this means that we've worked around the bulk loads limitation, which means that we dropped the index first using our pre SQL statement, then we loaded the table. And afterwards, we executed the PostSQL statement where we recreated the indexes. The pre and PostSQLs have many other uses. And once you get to work on a project, you'll get to know how you use, how useful these are. So, this will be it from our side from now. And in the coming videos, we'll take a look at some other session properties. So, do stay with us. And thank you. Bye-bye.